All right, so the president's plan to delay deportation to judge gave him a red light. So why is the president threatening pink slips? How do you ensure that ICE agents or Border Patrol won't be deporting people well, like this? I mean, what are the well, consequences? Uh, uh, look, the, the, the bottom line is, is that if somebody's working for ICE and there is a policy and they don't follow the policy, there are going to be consequences to it. So I, I can't speak to a specific problem. What I can talk about is what's true in the government generally. In the U.S. military, when you get an order, you're expected to follow it. It doesn't mean that everybody follows the order. If they don't, they've got a problem. And the same is going to be true uh, with respect to the policies that we're putting forward. Heavy-handed or backhanded, Border Patrolman Sean Moran can't believe what he's hearing regardless. Uh, and it's, it's interesting when you think about it, Sean, because this same president was slapped down by a judge who said, you're going too far. What would you make of it? Yeah, I agree with you, Neil. Uh, this, this is an ongoing process. Uh, I know the president knows constitutional law, so he knows that the judge does have the authority to put this on hold and uh, they, they could uh, strike it down if necessary. But I, I think it's a real slap in the face to Border Patrol agents, and that is our title. Uh, the president referred to us as Border Control. Uh, it, it's disrespectful. He needs to get the title right first and not jump the gun, so to speak, as to what's going to happen. This is a process that will uh, play out, and it, it is questions our integrity as federal agents that we're not going to follow orders. We follow orders, uh, and, and for the president to imply otherwise is uh, uncalled for. Well, what do you think he was saying there, Sean, and what would happen to your men and women if, if, if all of a sudden they started deporting uh, aggressively? Uh, is the president supposed to take note of that and then say, look, I'm watching you, and I'm not happy about it, and I just might fire you? Well, like any other federal employee, we follow policies. And the current policy is that we uh, arrest and deport illegal aliens. Uh, if, if this is upheld and the, uh, the injunction against it uh, is removed, then we will begin to follow the, the DACA and the DAPA policies. Uh, one curious thing about that, though, is that the guidance we've received in regards to these policies is contradictory. We're told that the people that Border Patrol agents arrest since they are, are newly arrived and they've uh, jumped the, the border fence illegally, that they are tier one offenders and they're ineligible for DACA or DAPA. Well, what has uh, changed? Later so, on so, in, I'm sorry, but I just want to be clear. What has changed for you since the president's executive order or your guys? Have they slowed down on deportations? Have they uh, gotten bogged down on what the rules are for deportations? What? No, nothing has changed yet because it hasn't been implemented. Well, the president seems to send a signal. Uh, I really wouldn't be hot to try to be deporting a lot of folks in this environment. I think I heard that right. Uh, our Border Patrol agents have a job to do, and as of now, the, the new executive action on uh, DACA and DAPA has not been implemented, and our agents will continue to do their jobs as they did before. Uh, right. If the judge says, go forward with DACA and DAPA, we will follow those guidelines. All right. Sean Moran, thank you very much. Good seeing you. Thank you, Neil.